All right, John, be good in two minutes. I'm taking your pictures. Let me take your pictures. Oh my God, so pretty. All right. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm just looking at him. You ready? I won't take it till you're ready. Man, you just like you you did that like um, it's like that Olympic, you know, that Olympic event where you ski and then you gotta stop and shoot. Yeah, that's what like. Yeah, it's a biathlon, <laughs> yeah. It's a biathlon. Uh, that's right. my favorite event. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's some serious that. breath control. Because they got to drop their heart rate. It's very cool. Oh, I got a good picture of you. Guys, we did it. We got good pictures. Oh, dude, you gotta be careful up there. Where am I gonna be careful? <laughs> Where? Always. Oh, oh, oh. Big nasty.
southern Louisiana. Sorry, y'all. Man, that was my first record store. What? Yes. In Atlanta. All that right. Yeah. Woo, that was a Bobby Charles song called Love in the Worst Degree. Yeah. All right. How you doing, everybody? How's everybody feeling? Happy Wednesday night. <laughs> it's the new Friday. <laughs> Wednesday is the new Friday. I like this. All right, well. Uh, <laughs> always Friday. It's always Friday. I know, I know. When you're a musician and you start, you know, you, you know you're a musician from, like, when you're a little kid on. You don't know what to call it. You know you have a problem and you're not like other people. And then you start dating people after college and you're like, hmm. And they go, fuck you, because every night's Saturday night for you. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, I don't know what Monday morning. You want to piss somebody off, go to a bank on Monday morning, ask them, hey, what day of the week is today? <laughs> they don't look at you so nice. Oh, that's all right. No, I know. Thank God people work in banks. I try and go there as often as I can. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here's a Wild Jennings song for you. Yeah.
everybody doing? Yeah. Real good. Good. Yeah. Me too. Let me just make sure we're all we're all adults here. Let me just make sure this thing's in tune. Geronimo record, and I'm very, this is a lot of fun to sing this song.
kept saying, you know, if you just hang in there, there's going to be a really pretty pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. And this band might just be that pot of gold. Oh, you know. It's early. It's early, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have, this is our first gig. But yeah, three songs into our first It's all right. It's starting off better than most things end, so, you know. <laughs> All right. I think this acoustic guitar is feeding back a little bit. All right, here's a, here's a brand new song. We're going to play a couple of new ones. Very excited about it. Here you go. Four, three, three, four. <laughs> Some spirits linger, some are to stay, some feel forever, some just fade away. Maybe in like an ember, stay some to be a flame, I burn on.
Are you ready for it? Hell yeah. I'm so ready for fall. Oh, yeah. Yes. Whatever happened worked. Yes. All right, we're going to play another song, uh, another new one. How y'all doing? You, you doing all right? All right. Very good. <laughs> all right. All right, I'm very excited about this song. It's a very, very beautiful song. I love this song. Here we go. Three, two, three, two. And one, ready, and...
Black Irish record. This is called I Ain't Gonna Stand For It. You know, uh, my friend Rodney Crow produced this record for me, and um, I was very grateful to him. He turned me on to this song that I may have missed um, from Stevie Wonder. So we're gonna do it for you now. It's called I Ain't Gonna Stand For It.
Oh, woo! Hey, how we doing? Uh, we take a break and we can do this. However you want to manage Okay, okay. All right. You know, y'all, let's just uh, go up to Save Me Jesus and. Uh, okay. Sure. I think we're. I think we're burning daylight. Up here. I like. But that's what we're supposed to be doing. I think we're moving. You keep talking to him. Like, okay. like, we're moving the speakers. Let's do I feel. Uh, save like, me Jesus. I love. I love being saved. All right. Wait, are we late? Are we getting our mama or Now let's just do Save Me Jesus. I need, I need to like go back yeah, to South yeah. Louisiana for a minute. I'm with you. All right. I'm with you. All right. Well, we're going to go back to South Louisiana for this next one. Next couple. Uh, we're going to, yeah, we're going to visit Bobby Charles. Y'all know Bobby Charles. Bobby Charles was a good friend of mine. He was. He was from uh, Abbeville, uh, Louisiana, which is south of I-10, you know, and it, and as, as local cultures go, south of I-10 is different than north of I-10, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, everything gets a little hotter and greasier and sweeter and, and, and just lovelier and sexier and, you know, it's just, you're, you're, you're that much closer to the Gulf uh, if you're south of I-10, and uh, so anyway, that's where Bobby lived, and I met Bobby a long time ago. I had cut a version of his uh, Tennessee Blues. Uh, and a friend of mine sent it to him, and he called me up one day, and, and we became very fast friends. For, we got to be good friends for about 10 years, and uh, he was just impossible. He was an impossible human being. He truly was, but I loved him dearly, and he couldn't write a bad song, and he couldn't play an instrument either, so there you go. He could not play a single instrument, and he wrote dozens and dozens, hundreds of songs without ever t picking up an instrument. He just had really good friends <laughs> who played the instruments for him and knew that he was just he was just overflowing with melodies and wonderful bits of wisdom. Bobby Charles, of course, wrote Walking to New Orleans and See You Later, Alligator, the Jealous Kind, Tennessee Blues. So uh, right now we're going to do a couple more of his songs because we miss him every day. I had the great pleasure of making this record with Dr. John and the lower 911 band. Let's go. So these, these guys here are stepping in for the 911 band. Here we yeah. go. Oh, it's called Save Me Jesus. Jesus. 
Bobby Charles song for you. Oh. South Louisiana, can you taste the oysters now? Yes, you can.
actually a. It just starts on the D. Oh, yeah, yeah. It starts on the four, guys. I remember that. Thanks, Derek. Thanks for the new marrow quadri. Thanks for the new Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, Hello. <laughs>
should know you so well. I know my family. <laughs> <laughs> I have lived this long not to know what I am up to now. <laughs> All right, let's take, let's, let, let's take it back down to South Louisiana just for a little bit. Here yeah. we go. Yeah. Woohoo! One, two, three, four, one. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. One, two, three, four, and one. I spent all my money loving you. Oh, yeah. Like a fool. Crazy a fool.
That was some, that was muddy right there. That was muddy. All right. How's everybody doing? Y'all doing all right? Because we are up here enjoying ourselves. We are. I guess uh, my set is now just proving that Texas and Louisiana share a border. A border I have crossed many, 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 many times. Y'all ready? All right. This is probably my favorite record on the Waylon Sessions. Probably my favorite of all Waylon Jennings songs. He wrote this one. He and it was this next song was his first number one hit. Here you go. That's the right key. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. How do you know lead singers at your door?
Texas. <laughs> Mississippi. Yeah. Who do I know here? <laughs> That's what Adam comes from, the decadent West Virginia uh, European tradition. <laughs> decadent West Virginia. You know that like city with that All right. Real big city. All right. Here you go. Texted Robert just two songs ago. I was like, "Can you come up and?" <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, we'll just do one thing you've done. Oh, okay. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, this was, yeah, 
Okay, yeah. Sing? Can you sing? I'll try. You know it. Um, I but the things are right in this me and I saw in my head when I was anything you ask me. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, this is exciting, too. This is really exciting. See acoustic guitar on? That's sure it's in the house. Well, I'm going to briefly tell you the story of this next song. A um, very long time ago, a friend of mine named Reverend Goat Carson called me up. And uh, Reverend Goat Carson was a good friend of mine in, in New Orleans. And Goat called me up and he said, Shannon, I have a very important situation and uh, I, need, I need your help. And I said, well, what you need, Goat? And he said, well, uh, I need you to drive me to San Antonio. And I said, from New Orleans? That's like, what is that? I don't know nine hours. That's a hefty drive. I said, what's going on in San Antonio? He said, well, uh, my friend Kinky Friedman is going to run for governor of Texas, and he's going to announce his gubernatorial campaign at dawn at the Alamo, and I would like to be present. And I said, well, then you, you do have a problem, but, but I, can, I can come up with a solution, and I will drive you to San Antonio. So I drove him to San Antonio. And uh, the next morning, we all got up, and we, we, um, we were in San Antonio, and we were we went down to the plaza and there, and, 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 and Kinky Friedman did his thing on the Dynama show at dawn. And then we all went into the hotel there in San Antonio, right on the plaza, and for uh, coffee and donuts. And I thought the day had peaked, really. I thought, like, how could the day get better? Um, but it went on to get better, because as I was standing there, just minding my own business, drinking my coffee, this very tall, handsome gentleman with long white hair and all denim pants and denim shirt, and he was smiling at me from the back of the room, and he kept smiling at me, and he kept smiling at me, and it was kind of hard to not notice that he was really, he was smiling, like smile smiling. And I thought, well, I wonder what, what's going on there. And he walked over to me eventually, and he said, you're as warm, you're as cute as a warm cuddle pup on a red wagon. <laughs> Nobody had ever flirted with me like quite that well at 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and then he said, would you like a donut? And I said, yes. And uh, that was how I met Billy Joe Shaver. So I know, right? I ate a donut, and I was never the same. Well, actually, he told me that his wife's name was also Shannon. So I, I, I thought best to just eat the donut and maybe walk away. <laughs> but I think he had a type. <laughs> Don't we all? Anyway, here's a, here's a Billy Joe Shaver song. May he rest in the eternal bliss of the heavenly ever after. And uh, let's go visit him right now. Here you go. Long ago and far away In my old common labor shoes I turned the world all which way Just because you asked me to Like unto no other field Similar to simple truth there's no end to what I do Just because you asked me to Let the world call me a fool But if things are right with me and you That's all that matters and I'll do Anything you ask me to And after all that I've been through 
no end to what I do Just because you asked me to Let the world call me a fool But the things are right with me and you That's all that matters and I'll do Anything you ask me to do
God bless Chris Christopherson. Mm. Thank you, guys. Woo, 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 woo. God, that was fun. What about this band, you guys? Yeah, how about this band? Killing it. And this guy, Ted Peccio, right?
Thank you. Are you going to play some guitar? Need a tambourine? Hey, you guys, we got a few more songs. I just want to say thanks for having us, and we're really enjoying ourselves up here, and we're going to be here every Wednesday this month. Uh, next week will be a shorter set because it's Americana week, and there will be a whole bunch of other uh, people who want to play on this stage. So, um, But we'll be here every Wednesday this month, and uh, we're going to just keep coming back. So. We're just going to keep on coming. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's called Trouble.
Thank you very much. Sometimes you need to know when to let go Yeah, when to run When to hide the smoke in the day
All right, well, thank you very much. We got a couple more songs for you. Uh, this has been incredibly fun. Um, and um, I, I, uh, let, me, let me tell you about the band. I got Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Rowland over here on my right on the piano. Asa Brocious on the uh, pedal steel back there in the corner. Derek Phillips behind me on the drums. Adam Meister Hans over here on the guitar. Ted Pecchio on bass number one. We had Robert Kearns there for a little bit on uh, bass number two. <laughs> we got a couple more songs for you. We just did. We did like 30 yeah. songs. We did. <laughs> well, thank you very much, everybody. My name is Shannon McNally, and this has been really fun. And we'll be back next week and every Wednesday this month. And uh, thank you for letting us work out new material. And thank you for just letting us, uh, you know, kind of have a home in Nashville for a minute. We appreciate it. We really do. It's precious real estate up here. So thank you very much for having us. This is a song called Weather Vane from my record called Drum.
on out of here. Thank you very much, everybody. Truly pleasant. Thank you very, very much for having us. We'll see you next week. I got, well, we got one or two more for you. And uh, thank you very, very much. We'll see you again.
Thank you very much, everybody. We'll see you next week. Yeah.